This is what we're doing today. We're going out with Provident Housing, who are a housing supported housing provider. Uh, we're going to be speaking with homeless people and finding out, are they genuinely homeless? These people are begging on the uh, street corners, they're on traffic lights, they're on roundabouts. Majority of them, or I don't think they are. And then we're going to be speaking to somebody who was homeless, who have been housed, and how you can go about helping someone. The cold weather is setting in, um, so we need less homeless people on the streets. There is help out there, and the details are going to be in the post. As you can see, guys, we're just pulling over to somebody right now, and I'm just going to ask you the golden question. You are digger. Are you homeless? Do you need to be housed or what? Do you need to be housed or what? Yeah, yeah. Guys, I'm just over at the end of Coventry Road. As you can see, Amjid from Provident Housing is going to see that chap that we were talking to earlier. Now, this guy seems a genuine case. Uh, it seems like somebody that wants to get housed. He says he lives in a shed. Guys, uh, Amjid just spoke to him and um, where he was very, very eager first to get housed is now all of a sudden changed the story. Uh, he's waiting for somebody to go and bring him some uh, change or some a little bit of money, and then he said he's going to get to the house. Is that what? Is that what? Do you believe yeah. that? Well, not really. To be honest, I don't think he's uh, really in a hurry to get housed. And are you finding this with a lot of people that you are approaching who are obviously sitting at traffic lights, roundabouts, and saying they're homeless, and you're going over to them saying, listen, I can house you, and then you're getting all sorts of excuses. Is that yeah. what's going on? Yeah, man, so where is that? For example, when I'm driving, especially when it comes to busy roundabouts or any carriageways, and you see people are sitting on the side, first thing I do is I do is pull up and speak to them, Barry, are you homeless? Um, are you looking for accommodation? Now, majority of them say that they're homeless but when it comes to asking them if they want an accommodation they're not really interested okay. all they're interested is the next person to come drive past them and give some change to them guys we've been joined by aaron uh, and uh, obviously amjit from uh, provident housing that you've been watching earlier in action right aaron is a is a typical example of someone who was homeless uh, Aaron, how long were you homeless for? Let's start with that first of all. I was homeless from the age of 19, I'm now 37. You're now 37, so for a very, very long time then, isn't it? When we say homeless, you were sleeping rough? For a year and a half. Okay. When, you, when, when we say sleeping rough, that means you have what you've got on your back. Mm -hmm. And that's as far as it goes, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So I, I assume that you've, you've tried to survive in the big bad world out there. How was that? How was that going to sleep? And where were you sleeping? First. For me, it was scary because obviously, you know, I came from an enclosed environment to suddenly go into one of those environments, not nice at all. Okay, so you were living with your mum at the time, wasn't you, before mm -hmm. you got kicked out of the house? Um, for, because a lot of people that are probably watching this, to them, we don't know any different because we've always lived in a house. So to be kicked out onto the street and have no one to fend for you, no roof over your head, open to all the elements, how did you survive? What did you have with you? I used basic survival skills that I learned when I was born in an army base with my dad. Okay. All right. And, that, and how did you feed yourself? Hunting. What did you hunt? Fish, rabbits, wood pigeons. Okay. What did you do for money? I, my mum kept having my claim shut down, so for a year and a half I had to survive on what I could. Okay. I mean, how are you now at the moment? You're living now with Provident Housing, one of their houses. How's the house? I've had a look around. It looks nice and clean. It's lovely. It's nice. It's comfortable. It's a place where you can relax and bring your life back together. Wonderful. And yeah, how are you doing with the support that they provide oh, you? Brilliant. Okay, because there's not there's not a lot of housing providers out there. They they say they provide support, but you've got some you've got some stories to tell us, haven't you? You have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, th that's in our longer video. But thank you ever so much for sharing your experience with us. And uh, we hope you, you're on the road to recovery and you get well soon. Thanks ever so much. There you have it, guys. Um, there is genuine homeless people out there and there is fake homeless people out there. We're telling you to keep away from the fake ones. You've got a solution here where you can pick up the phone and speak to a housing provider and try to get them housed. If they're genuine, they will want to get housed. If they're not, they're only after your money. If it doesn't make sense, don't pull your money out because they're only preying on your kindness. And as always, carry on watching the Bearded Bros.